What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We're going to be doing a bass fishing challenge. Now, the particular bass fishing challenge actually has a lot to do with you, the Grey Gang. And I mean, hey, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already and join the Grey Gang. But anyways, back to the challenge. This is going to be the fan mail bait challenge. Now, this is just a little freelance, you know, baits here that I've gotten in the fan mail. And as you can see, like, I've got a lot of baits over the last few months and stuff. So I'll just put them in this box, saving them up for a day just like this, the bass fishing fan bait challenge. So, you know, we're going to look around here. We're going to find out some baits, and then we're going to go fish with them. Right here, we have a little horny toad right there. We may put that to use. Not exactly sure yet, because it is pretty, you know, it is still pretty cold outside. I've even got, like, a front moving in, which makes it that much colder. They probably won't be biting the top water. But that's okay, because we got plenty of options, as you can see. So, my, right now, I'm going to dig here in the bottom and look for hooks, because hooks are, you know, heavier and smaller, and they, they usually find their way to the bottom. Here we go. Right down here in the corner. Looks like a little, uh, we call this little Ned Rig looking outfit. We're going to set that right there. And now we're going to have to find something to go on the back of it. And I think I'm probably going to put a sink ale, something like this. This right here looks like a little yum dinger and a watermelon. I'm not sure if we're going to use watermelon. I'll take a look, you know. Hey, I mean, we'll set that to the side. You never know. We may end up using that. But let's just dig through here a little bit, see what other colors we can use. And just keep in mind, it doesn't have to be a sink ale. It can also be a little trick worm or just something random. Anything should work. And I'll tell you what, boys, I think this is what we're going to use. Now, as for the color, it's still watermelon, but these look like a little bit smaller bait, and they've even got two curly tails, which will give it a little bit of action as it falls. So, I'm going to try my best, set the camera up right here, and we're going to rig up this Ned rig right here. So, just pull one out. These just got plenty of salt on them, I will say that. Definitely got a lot of salt on them. This little process right here shouldn't be too hard. If you don't know what a Ned rig is, pay attention, because I'm going to show you. What it is, is it's just a plain little hook right here, or a jig head. A lot of people like the little mushroom shape head like this one, but you can go with just a simple jig head if that's what you got. This in here just happens to have a little weed guard. I will say you do not have to have a weed guard to use a Ned Rig. But here's all we're going to do. All we're going to do is we're going to see where it lines up so we'll know where to pull the hook out. It's going to come out right here. Then we're just going to thread it on. Just like anything else, just thread the bait on the hook. The straighter the better. I will say that. The straighter the better. Then just bring it out right there where we decided it needed to come out. Push it up on the bait. And I mean, there. Hey, there we go. That is a Ned Rig. There, there's just one of the baits we're going to be using in today's challenge, but we probably will start that out. And I'll tell you what, I'll even teach you a little bit how to rig a Ned Rig, because I have had quite a few comments lately say, hey, can you do like a little bit of tutorials or tell us how to begin in bass fish? Because from reading your comments, I understand that a lot of you guys are just now getting into bass fishing. And I will say, guys, I've been bass fishing. I've been learning about bass fishing. And it's coming up on five years now that I've been learning about bass fishing. So with my five years worth of knowledge, I'm going to try to pass that down to you guys as good as I can. But just in case the Ned Rig don't work, let's take a look back in here and try to find some kind of reaction bait. Now this could be a crankbait, a spinnerbait, but just about anything. Just something that moves a little quick just in case the fish are in a real feeding mood. Oh, here we go. Here's a little jerk bait in there. It's a little baby bass looking Rapala outfit. I believe we'll use that, guys. So here's what we're going to take to the water. We'll take that Ned Rig right there. We'll even take this Cinco just in case that trailer's not working out, along with this jerk bait just in case the fish are very active. But before we head on down to the water, I'm sure y'all have already noticed it, and it was in my last video. It is the brand new SSOG hat. Now, I'm sure some of you longtime gray gangsters are like, wait, but you had a you had a SSOG hat last year. I did, but this here, this is the Mark II. And I'm not just gonna say it's the Mark II because it's the second time I came out with it. This one is actually different in a lot of good ways, in my opinion. The main way it's different is you know, here's a picture of the last SSOG. It had the letters right here. I just made it the plain logo and I've even made it a little bit bigger that way it stands out better on the hat. But just because we took the letters off the front doesn't mean that we got rid of them completely. We actually moved them back here to the back of the hat. That way, you know, if someone's back here, sees the back of your head they'll know what kind of hat you got on. Now, it is a snapback, which means one size will fit most here. And then, honestly, one of my personal favorites, I have my custom tag in there, baby. This is a Kendall Gray brand hat right here. This here is true Gray Gang material marked by its tag. I'm sure y'all already know where to pick it up at kendallgray1.com slash shop. You can go to this website right here, or it should be like the first link in the description. And the cool thing about these hats right here is they also come with, you know, what's it called? A bracelet, baby. Everybody loves the bracelets because you can literally wear them every single day. But enough talking about the fire merch. Let's get down to a pond, and I'm going to show you how to fish this little Ned Rig. And so, guys, here we are. We've came up to the pond bank. Here, the same Ned Rig. Well, I mean, y'all just saw it. But anyways, here we go. All we're going to do is we're just going to cast it out there. And we're going to let it fall on a semi-slack line. Because you have such a small weight, the bait itself is actually going to sink fairly slow. It's not going to suspend, but it is going to sink very slow, which gives the bass a very good opportunity. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I thought I done had one. But what I was saying is how this sinks so slow, it gives the bass a really good opportunity to bite it on the fall. And a lot of times that's exactly what they'll do. So once it hits the water, you wanna follow your line and be a line watcher. Watch for it to start going in a different direction or maybe it'll jerk all of a sudden. That means you have a fish on. Now, if you threw it out and it has hit the bottom, let it sit there for about five seconds because there may be one watching it. But after five minutes tick by, you're gonna wanna reel up the line and very, very softly raise it up. Because whenever you very softly raise it up, it may st it may actually be in a fish's mouth and you just not realize it. You're just gonna barely drag it a little bit, maybe hop it every now and again to get those legs kicking back there. And then you're just gonna keep doing that. And that's about, and that's just about it. Now I will say, there's about a million different ways to fish a Ned Rig and it's hard to fish it wrong. But if you're just starting out with a Ned Rig and don't have any idea to fish it, fish it this way and you know, you should get some good bites that way. Because even though it's one of many ways to fish a Ned Rig, this is a very effective way to fish it. I promise guys. And hopefully I can give you proof right here in just a second. But just keep in mind that a lot of your bites are going to come on the fall because it has such a slow fall rate. See, there he was. He hit it on the fall. It had just hit the water. It fell a little bit. I looked up. My line jerked one time, went to the left, and he had it. I didn't get the hook set in him, but, you know, maybe I'll throw it back out there again, and maybe he'll come back to it. But that was exactly what I was talking about, guys. I threw it out there about two seconds after it hit the water. He just hit it. He hit it on the fall, and that's how most of your bites are honestly going to come. There you go. He's picked it up. He's swimming with it. Got him. Oh, ho. I will say he is not a monster, but then again, he is a bass on the Ned Rig. If a little bass will bite it, a big bass will bite it. And as y'all may have saw there, I knew that he bit it a lot earlier than I set the hook. The reason is because not only is he a small fish, which I didn't know that part, but I knew that my hook was very small. And what I think happened on that first fish that I actually missed is I think that he went, grabbed the tail, and then I jerked it out before he could go ahead and swallow it. On that fish right there, I actually took my time, waited a second, waited until he could get the whole bait in his mouth, then I set the hook. Okay, so while we're on the hunt for for a second fish it is saturday and i'm gonna go ahead and do the verse of the week so i know guys unfortunately this week it's not a verse again i mean i know that the last few verse of the week they've not exactly been bible verses as much as they've been just like overall christian concepts which in my opinion are almost like you know they're just as good if not better and i will say they're definitely a whole lot easier to understand i might have one right there no, I ain't got one. But here's the concept. The concept is that humans are not meant for Earth. We are not built to be here on Earth. And what that leads into is that life, life is not going to be easy, guys. Life is not going to be perfect. Oh, man, I do have one, don't I? Oh. No, I don't. So no matter what you do here on earth, you're going to face problems. Like, that's just a fact. You can't change that. But the thing that you can change is how are you going to deal with those problems? And I'll be honest, guys. About a month ago, I was going through life and I, there was problems. And I was like, what is this even? Like, there's not supposed to be problems. I was just mad because, you know, like, nothing was going the way I wanted it to. Then I had a bro come in clutch. And I'm sure some of y'all know him. Tyler's real fishing, bro. He came in clutch. He said, Kendall, you're not understanding that humans aren't meant for Earth. You're going to have problems in this world, and there's nothing that you're going to do to stop those problems from happening. And so whenever he said that to me, it was just like a switch, guys. My life, like, straight up instantly changed. I'm not even lying. And now I wake up every single morning and pray to God, and here's one of the things I tell God. I said, God, I understand. There's going to be problems in this world. I'm going to have a few problems a day, and they are going to get on my nerves so bad. And I understand that I'm going to have them, and there's nothing that's going to Stop them. But Lord, just please let me handle them the right way and let me learn from them. And so that's how I start off my day, just recognizing that there's going to be problems, but that's okay. And so guys, the video is not over. We're still going to do a little bit of fishing here, but I want to give you the challenge that from now on, I'm not even going to say the next week. I'm going to say from now on, I want you to wake up every morning, pray to God. And one thing I want you to say is, Lord, I understand that I'm going to have some problems today. I know they're coming. There's nothing I can do about it. But I just pray that you give me the strength and the knowledge and the understanding to overcome those problems in a peaceful way to where I don't get mad, I don't throw an anger fit, that I just stay patient and peaceful and handle the situation and let me learn something from it. That's what I want y'all to do. Because I'm telling you right now, Tyler's real fishing like bro, like just, let me, I'm going to let the camera dab right here, dab on him because he's a stinking savage. And I mean, I guess now what you're asking is, so like, are y'all going to collab? Because I'd really like to see y'all collab. Heck yeah, we're going to collab. I'm not sure when. It may not be soon, but we will collab, and that is a promise. The rain has started. It's sprinkling a little bit. Honestly, I think that may help our chances at getting a bass. But, but as of right now, I'm going to keep throwing this Ned rig around, and I really do. I feel like it's about to get good with this rain. Oh, man. 
Okay, guys, I've had quite a few short strikes on this thing. I don't know why they're not eating it completely, but I tell you what, guys, I'm gonna go get a bait to where as soon as they touch it, well, they're pretty well had, lad. And, um, uh, yeah, it's that jerk bait. I love jerk baits, especially when it's raining. It's perfect time to use them. There he is. What do you say, boys, on the old jerk bait? He can't spit this one. Now, again, he ain't no giant. But bro, he's a stinging jerkbait bass. But anyway, he's not big, little jerkbait bass. I caught a bass on a baby bass. Even though this is the baby bass, and this is the lure. Whew, sometimes I just don't make sense. Got something. I don't know if he's bass. Oh wow, he actually is a bass. There we go, boys. This shirt bait's got two and like three casts. There we go, baby. There we go. I want y'all to hit the like button. Why? Because y'all are gray gangsters, and that's what you do. But on this guy right here, you know, boom, ain't much he could do. He wanted the jerk bait. Let's be honest, guys. This bait, even if it was real, it couldn't even fit in his mouth. But you got to give it to them for their attitude. But for real, guys, hit the like button. Let's try to get to our goal, which is 3,000 likes per video. I know that if all you go down right now and hit the like button, we'll get there in no time. But until then, let's keep fishing because they're actually starting to bite this jerk bait pretty good. There he is. Oh, man. Oh, not a big one, but another bass he is. Bro, what in the world is this? This one's got red eyes. I don't know. Is that normal for bass to have red eyes? I mean, I'll be honest. I don't remember the last bass having red eyes, or if they did, they weren't this red. But Yeah, I mean, he is just a largemouth bass, but I mean, you tell me, guys. Do those eyes look red? I mean, they look awfully red to me, but I guess that's just, you know, every bass is different, guys. That's a fact. Every bass is different. Oh my goodness. Bro, I just saw some monsters. I just saw some monsters swoop at this. Or not swoop, but I don't know, swap at it. Yes, they were right out there at that fountain thing. I'm gonna get hung up too. But I saw two of them swap big time. There he is. Oh my gosh. This is a monster. He's at least eight pounds, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm overreacting. But, bro, this is a nice fish. This is about a pound and a half. And this one's got red eyes, too. This is a pretty nice bass, guys. Not gonna lie at all. This is a good one. But, yeah, I threw out there right beside that fountain, twitched a little bit. I saw him flash. He actually flashed twice on it, but he just never got it in his mouth. I reeled back in, threw it out there again. Yeah, that time he got it. It sort of looked like there was two bass out there, but then again, you know how fast bass are. They can almost be in two places at once. But, yeah, this guy, unlike all the other ones, he's actually a pretty decent one probably about a pound and a half that's always good and on a big jerk bait but anyways i'm gonna get my rod cast straight back out there and see if i can't see if there was another one guys believe it or not snow is actually in the forecast for you know this evening so the temperatures have dropped while i've been here and they've actually dropped quite a bit too but um uh, this rain that you're seeing right there on the water it's actually supposed to turn into snow by the end of the night but with today's challenge i just want to let y'all know it couldn't have been possible without you guys the gray gang and all that fan mail that y'all sent in like guys it's going to use and being used in another video see like that thing like that thing right there that jerk bait if it wasn't for you guys the gray gang to send in baits like those we couldn't be out here doing fan videos just like this so i just want to let y'all know that really without you guys without the fans sending in fan mail a lot of things would not be possible. Don't forget, guys, the SSOG hats right here. If you'd like one, you can go on to kendallgrade1.com slash shop. Got the tag and everything, bro. I think that's awesome. Today's favorite squad goes to Wyatt Berhorst and Brady S. If you guys want to be, you know, like in favorite squad, all you got to do is go down in the comments, leave a positive and encouraging comment, and next video, like, you may just get the shout out. Just that easy. Just go down in the comments and leave something happy. If you've not already, I want y'all to hit the like button and honestly give yourself a round of applause because I done said this, but I'm just going gonna say it again because it's important without the gray gang this would not be possible and if you're not in the gray gang already click this little button thing right up here and it should make you subscribe to this channel also click down here in this corner if you want to watch the last video i posted and down here you know it's also a good video apparently youtube thinks it's good for you but anyways i'll see ya